Hey Arsenal YouTube fam, uh, bet in my hands, Batman 51. Huge deal, uh, it's hitting the shelves today, and well, I'm gonna read it. It's the last Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo issue. And I'm gonna read it, and I'm gonna tell you what you think. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still Alright, Timmy, are we going to do this review or not? Oh, yeah, sorry, dude. Just feeling super emo for that issue. Touch me here, and here, and in every other place I can think of that Batman means something to me. Batman 51 last issue of Snyder and Capullo. Um, essentially, try, I'll try not to get too teary-eyed as I go through this. Uh, they've done five years now of a solid run from issue one and up, um, and it's it's been great. This last issue kind of is really a send-off to all of it. It touches place upon kind of really all parts of the story arcs that Snyder and Capullo did, and it's just, it's a really awesome issue. It's a standalone. It's, it's really like an epilogue to the last arc and really a whole epilogue to the entire series. Um, the title, if memory serves me correct from just reading it, it's A Quiet Night in Gotham, as I believe the title of it was called, and it's it's great. Um, essentially it's a quiet night and um, the whole city goes black and Batman's convinced there's something behind it and he kind of goes really th all throughout uh, Gotham and you, you kind of really see uh, all the people that have been through the arcs that Snyder and Capullo have done and it kind of uh, it's a really good send, send off to Batman from Snyder. Um, he's rocking his new costume that he got from the last issue where Gordon and uh, let, stop being Batman and uh, against um, Mr. Bloom and Batman finally returned Bruce Wayne and it's kind of also an issue too of Bruce Wayne finally getting the back of things like Alfred. Uh, they have of course, you know, it's because of comics, Alfred has his hand back and um, Bruce, Alfred notices Bruce doesn't have any scars so it's like he's born again Batman physically and mentally and it's really him just kind of getting back in the swing of things doing his first time on patrol and it's it's pretty moving in a way. Um, it's The narration is done in the uh, form of a newspaper writer for Gotham. And so it's not just as he's chronicling Gotham, he's chronicling Batman and what he means to the city. And really now, Batman and Gotham is not just this kind of like how Miller depicted him in year one, where, you know, the cops are shooting at him and he's an enemy of the cops and, you know, that interpretation. He's really kind of the dark, he's the dark knight hero of the town. People, Batman means something to everybody now. They know he's he's good and he saves the city and he is the city and he's what keeps them safe. And it's a really moving issue and it shows kind of like, not every knight in Gotham does have to be a bad guy trying to take over the city. It's, it's a really good first issue, or last issue, excuse me, to the run and it's just a good standalone issue as well. It's just a good, just a goddamn good comic. I really, really recommend reading it, and if you've never read the Snyder Capullo run, it's uh, eight trade. It's going to be eight trades worth, eight graphic novels worth, and seven of them are out. Or it's actually going to be nine. Let me double check. It will be nine. Nine. It'll be nine. A total of nine. Nine. Um. Yeah. So it'll be nine. Uh. Seven of them are in trade paperback, eight is in hardcover, it'll be in trade this summer, and we'll get a uh, last uh, trade, our number nine. We'll wrap it up if you read it in trade, but uh, yeah, we have volume one, Court of Vowels, and that's what starts it off. It's probably the best, one of the best Batmans we've ever had. Uh, it's really up there. All right, thanks. Yo, if you wanna watch more videos, and I don't know why you wouldn't, since our videos are muy bueno. Did I mention I failed Spanish three times? Um, you got more videos right here on that reactor on Iron Man's chest. And if you wanted to watch more videos immediately, again, wouldn't blame me if you did, right there. Thanks so much. Have a Arsenal-tastic day.